The following statements do not reflect the views of Rubber City Travelogues. Viewer discretion is advised. They paid us a lot of money to put this on this channel, and we're sellouts. Hello, my name is Chipper Jones. Did you know that Coles is an affront to the institution of marriage? Neither did I. Hi, my name is Chipper Jones, and for the hundredth time, I'm not a baseball player. You know how I know why? They don't let anyone in the league who supports the rule of law. Back to my first point. Coles was founded by Nat King Cole in 1950. The chain was created as a gift to his daughter Natalie. It provides many goods and services as well as haberdashery stuff. But the Cole family forfeited the chain after Natalie won her Grammys. Unfortunately, there was a Grammy clause that Nat King Cole was forced to put into the contract years prior. This was done so by a shifty man named Sterling Piper. Sterling Piper bought the chain back in accordance with the Grammy clause, one minute following Natalie's amazing Grammy winning night. I don't think this is fair for the record and I am only saying it as a statement of fact. Excuse me. Back to my first point. Sterling Piper and his family, a rich American oil family, believe firmly in the ancient marriage rite known as habeas corpus 3.0. They want to do away with the original institution of marriage. They believe in this Celtic pagan maypole myth where people marry flowers and dead bodies. I can't stand for this, as we all know marriage is between two baseball players that love each other very much, and I won't have the Piper family denigrate Coles and the brand and baseball and the institution of marriage. Please sign my petition and we'll send the Piper family to The Hague and save Coles forever. Oh yeah, also at the end of this I wanted to say that Coles has something to do with Ohio and uh, maybe somebody from Akron once met Neck and Cole and they also wanted me to say thank you and good night.